Hello students! Today we're going to learn about the present continuous. But before we learn the present continuous, we have to remember what we know about the present simple. Do you remember the present simple? We use it to talk about regular habits and daily routines. For example, I usually get up at 7 o'clock. She doesn't often go to the cinema. When do they usually have lunch? Do you remember the structure? How do we make the present, present simple? Well, in the affirmative, it's very easy. We just use the verb like that. We study English, they swim in the river. But remember, in the third person singular, we have to add S or ES. Like she works in the hospital, Mary studies in this school. Do you remember when we add ES? These were the cases. Okay, when the verb finishes in CH, CH, O. Remember, then, uh, that's when the verb end in, ends in a consonant plus Y. We change the Y for I and then we add ES. Okay, remember then when we make the negative and the questions or interrogatives, we have to use an auxiliary. The auxiliary is do with I, you, we and they and does with the third person singular, he, she or it. So in the questions we use do or does at the beginning of a sentence. Uh, do you live in Canada? Does she work in an office? Remember, in the third person singular you don't need to write s or es because we have does. Does gives the information. It says this is third person singular. So compare. She works in this factory, so we need the S, she works, because this is affirmative. But look at the question, does she work in this factory? Does, does says it's third person singular, so work doesn't have an S. Okay, for the negatives, we also use do or does with the negative word not. Do not, contraction don't, or does not, contraction doesn't. You don't live in Canada, she doesn't ride a horse. Remember, we don't need S or ES because we have doesn't. She works in Canada, she doesn't work in Canada. Good. Also remember that we use the present simple with words like usually, always, often, sometimes, etc. Okay, do you want to practice? Uh, just to remember, okay. Here is a tiny exercise. Stop the video now. Complete the uh, sentences with the verb in brackets in the present simple form. And then you can play the video again to check your answers. Are you ready? Stop the video now. Okay, so you have the exercise already? Here we go. These are the answers. You can pause and check. So, the present continues. We use the present continues to talk about the present, but not any present. We talk about actions that are happening now. Take a look at the picture. What is she doing? She's studying hard for her final exam. She's studying now. In, for the present uh, continues, we also have an auxiliary, but it's not the auxiliary do or does, it's the auxiliary be, in the present simple. So we are going to use am, is and are. We use I am watching TV, he, she, it is watching TV, you, we and they are watching TV. Very easy, right? So we use the, uh, the verb to be depending on the person, okay? I'm um, for the first person singular, is for the third person singular, and are for the rest. Okay, what happens to the main verb? We add ing. I am watching TV, it's watching TV. The cat is watching TV, okay? 
But remember, there are some spelling rules you have to know. If the verb ends in e, we remove e and add ing. Remove means quitar. So take a look. Dance. Dance ends in e. We remove the e. Dance. And we add ing. Dancing. Okay? Now, second rule. One syllable verbs. Verbs with one syllable, which end in a short vowel. Short, not long. Class, consonant. What do we do? Like, for example, clap is short vowel, a, eh, and a consonant, p. What do we do? We double the consonant and then we add ing. So, clap, clapping. We double the consonant and we add ing. Very good. As it happens with the present simple, we have some keywords we can use with the present continuous. These words express, they mean that the action is happening now. Okay. Are you ready for some exercises? Okay. What's the continuous form? Stop the video now and write the continuous form of these verbs. We're going to check this in class. Have you finished? Another tiny exercise for the brave ones. Complete these verb these sentences, sorry, with the verb in brackets in the continuous form. Don't forget the auxiliary. Stop the video and complete the exercise before you check your answers. Are you ready now? Here are the answers. Were they correct? I am sure they were. We will discuss this in class too. And that's all for today. Thank you for very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned a lot about the present continuous. Bye bye.